Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I've been tagged in a few different tags going around recently, and I do plan on getting to them all. Uh, today I'm going to do the 10 question quarantine challenge uh, that Colton over at the Wasatch Back Explorer uh, tagged me in recently. <laughs> I'm going to do mine backwards. I'm going to start at the 10th question, work my way down to one. Uh, the question isn't necessarily a question. It's more of the five channels that I'm going to tag. Uh, so that's what we're going to start with. So the first channel I'm going to tag is uh, Earl Outdoors. Derek has a really cool channel that I really like watching. He's a local here in Utah and lives pretty close. We see a lot of the same uh, places up in the high winters, and uh, we're actually hoping to get out on a, a trip together. Uh, maybe this spring or summer. So, um, first one, Earl Outdoors. The second channel is uh, Tenkara Attic, and it's uh, another channel that I really enjoy watching. Um, Tristan, I believe, is the guy who runs the channel. He uploads a lot of Tenkara fishing, and, uh, you know, my Tenkara rod's actually right here behind me, and it's something that I recently started doing, super interested in, and I uh, really like watching him do it. Um, so, yeah, that's channel number two. So the third channel I'm going to tag is The Fly Dudes. Uh, Andrew has an awesome channel, another one that I just really enjoy watching. He used to live in Utah, but uh, went to, uh, I believe, Reno or somewhere over near Lake Pyramid. And uh, that's kind of where he's based out of now. But he catches some huge fish, and uh, I really like his videos. So, uh, Andrew, you've been tagged. The uh, fourth and uh, fifth channels I'm going to tag are... Big channels. They probably don't watch my channel, nor uh, will they see their tag. But, you know, I don't know who's been tagged and who hasn't, so eh, why not? So, number four is Steve over with uh, Firebox Stove. Has an awesome channel. He's a local here in Utah. And, uh, you know, if you guys like backpacking, fishing, cooking, uh, you should check him out if you haven't already. So, the fifth and final channel is... Uh, Somebody I just started watching yeah, just a couple weeks ago as I've kind of taken an interest in uh, wildlife photography. And uh, it, it's Tron Westby. So he has just an incredible channel that I've actually been learning a lot from. And I really, really enjoy watching it. Uh, you know, if you like outdoors and wildlife uh, photography, check him out. All the channels are going to be in my uh, description below. So, uh, ninth question is how am I exercising or what am I doing for workouts? Um, well, uh, you know what, I'm actually really lucky. Um, my local gym here by the house that I usually go to uh, just opened up, I believe, yesterday. But prior to that, they were closed for, you know, maybe a month, maybe a month and a half. I, I don't really know. But uh, where I work, we have a full gym there, too, uh, which never closed down. So my workout really hasn't changed too much, um, which I'm pretty thankful for. So question number eight, what is my favorite quarantine food? Um, and that's actually a pretty easy one. Um, luckily, uh, you know, it, the, the, the coronavirus, it didn't really affect my diet too much. I rarely eat out. I pretty much cook at home every night out on the grill. Uh, I've recently started doing street tacos, some carne asada street tacos, and really enjoyed those, so uh, that's going to be my pick. Street tacos. <laughs> Seventh question is, how long has it been since I've been out, out on an overnighter? Uh, just a few days ago, three or four days ago. Last Saturday I was out on just a quick solo overnighter, had a great time, and I'm actually hoping to go out again this weekend. Question number six, what do I miss the most? Um, hmm. well, uh, I miss being able to go down to the river and fish during the weekday and have it to myself, uh, you know, since a lot of people are home, working from home, just not working at all, uh, the local river that I like to go to has been busier than ever, but, um, you know, I also get that too, so, um, I have had a hard time finding quality meat, like, boneless chicken thighs that I like to cook, and uh, boneless ribeye steaks. I wanted a boneless ribeye for dinner, couldn't find one. So, anyways, uh, <laughs> three simple things, pretty minor, but we're going to move on to question five. What am I most grateful for? Well, um, you know, this is, uh, you know, the whole coronavirus and all the restrictions, shutdowns, lockdowns, um, you know, have affected a lot of people. For me personally, I'm very, very lucky, and it hasn't affected me very much at all. Um, 
you know, I'm, uh, I live at home alone, so I don't really have a family that I got to look after and support. It's just me and my dogs. Um, and I'm still working. I'm still fishing. I'm still going out. Um, so yeah, I'm super uh, grateful for that. And with that being said, I also feel, you know, kind of bad saying that because though it hasn't affected me very much, it has affected, uh, you know, a lot of people I know, some close friends and, uh, you know, and I, uh, I, I wish it hadn't, and uh, I hope things get back to normal soon. Fourth question, um, what have I went without? Well, uh, I really wanted a big boneless herb bite on the grill for dinner tonight, and I can't find one. So, uh, yeah, moving on. Third question, where am I currently parked or docked? Um, well, uh, I'm at my house. I live in Draper, Utah, just uh, a little south of Salt Lake City. Question number two is the biggest change since the lockdown, or what has been the biggest change since the lockdown? Uh, you know, I, I think I mentioned this earlier, but, um, you know, I, I, I'm, I feel really, really lucky. I'm super thankful, and uh, not a whole lot has changed for me. Um, yeah, I don't know how else I can answer that. Um, I miss my friends. It's been a long time since I've seen, you know, a few of the friends that I usually see pretty regularly. But, um, you know, outside of that, uh, you know, I haven't been affected too much. Coke Zero. Cheers, Steve. Uh, last question is, how many rolls of toilet paper do I have? I went and saw my mom recently, and she was like, How are you doing about toilet paper? Do you need some? And I was like, well, yeah. So she hooked me up. She gave me uh, two big uh, packages of toilet paper. I think I have like 12 or 14 rolls in my house and two in my truck. Um, I used to have one in my truck. Since she hooked me up, I have two. Um, and I know I'm not the only one that carries a roll in my truck. That's super important. I, I'm not alone, guys. Come on. There you go. Ten questions, and we'll see you soon.